Low Cost Aerosol Sensors There are direct reading instruments for aerosols that are based on the principle of light scattering. Aerosol photometers measure the light scattered by many particles, which has been shown to correlate well with the mass concentration of particles from 0.3 to 10 micrometers. They cost approximately 2500 to 8000 US dollars. Optical particle counters measure the particle number concentration by size from 0.3 to 10 micrometers. They range in cost from $8,000 to $15,000. Numerous vendors now offer small, low-cost sensors. Aerosol photometers typically cost less than $20. There are also optical particle counters that measure the size of individual particles. They run from $25 to $300. These sensors are limited in that they require integration into a larger monitoring system that provides power and enables communication. They also require calibration. Commercial vendors offer monitors with integrated low-cost aerosol sensors. These monitors typically cost $150 to $300. Many researchers have assessed performance of low-cost sensors and monitors by comparing their output to reference devices. An example is shown in the figure at right. Each monitor has unique operating characteristics in operating ranges. For all of them, the output signal is a function of particle mass concentration. For example, in the plot, the FUBOT compares well to the reference over a large concentration range up to 1,000 micrograms per meter cubed. In contrast, the air beam does not respond to mass concentrations greater than 150 micrograms per meter cubed. The reason for this discrepancy is unknown, but we suspect that there are too many particles in the detection region. The output signal is also a function of aerosol refractive index. White particles such as salt scatter more light than absorbing black particles such as soot. Morphology of particles can also impact the output signal. Precision of these sensors is often far worse than their more expensive counterparts. The state of California operates an air quality sensor performance evaluation center that serves as an excellent source of information about accuracy and precision. These sensors open up new possibilities for assessing exposures to harmful contaminants. Their low cost allows the purchase of many sensors. The data from many sensors can provide spatiotemporal information unavailable with conventional instruments. This type of data can be used to identify areas of higher exposure that would benefit from the application of control technologies. At right, the map shows particulate matter measured with low-cost sensors at many points on a factory floor. These areas of high concentration, indicated in red, are above workplace exposure levels and require mitigation. Low-cost sensors have also been used to detect hazards outdoors. Here, each dot represents a sensor that responds to wildfire smoke. This type of information can be used by the public to help identify when conditions are hazardous. Other examples include ambient air pollutant concentrations over time and averaged, live air quality maps, citizen and community science, and lastly, personal exposures by location, which is depicted at right. In this image, the colored line indicates a person's path through the city streets. 
the low concentration are shown in blue and the high concentrations are shown in yellow and red. There was clearly a spike at one intersection and on a major road.